Uh, Paige Court from Adelaide Band Wing Defence. Welcome to Australian Musician. Thank you for having me. So how have you been handling this COVID-19 period? Yeah, pretty good. Um, I think there's something to say for the solidarity of like everyone experiencing it. There's like something weirdly comforting yeah. about it. But, um, you know, from on a personal level, it's been, it's been okay. It's been nice to have some downtime, but definitely keen to get back into shows and playing again. That's, that's my favorite thing to do. So yeah, that, that's been the struggle definitely. But, um, fortunately enough, I've been okay financially, um, which I'm very grateful and, and lucky for. So, um, yeah, it hasn't been too bad. Yeah. What about the band? What, what sort of plans did you have to put aside? <laughs> Um, I think we had a couple of shows coming up and obviously with the release of the EP we would have been going into doing some touring um, and we were hoping to get to Europe this year too as well so that's probably off the cards unfortunately so yeah it's a little bit disappointing but there's not much we can do about it I guess so all we can do is keep creating music and um, now that restrictions are sort of easing up here in South Australia, we're able to get into a workspace and, and keep writing. Yeah. So are you uh, able to book some gigs? Are you at that stage in South Australia? Yeah. So I think we actually, I think we just got an email through just before about potentially playing a show uh, later July. So that could be great. Um, I mean, you never know what's going to happen, but the within South Australia, it's looking like some live shows are coming back. So that's really positive and, and hopefully we'll be able to do a show by the end of the year and um, to celebrate the upcoming EP. Yeah. yeah. So how did the band come together? Uh, so me and Sky knew each other in the Adelaide music scene for quite a while. Um, and it was the end of 2017, we were at a local pub together and having a few drinks and uh, we were discussing how we wanted to, you know, make a sort of pop punk band and we thought we'd team up together and um, Sky was actually reading me out a poem that she'd written and the last line of the poem was, what position did you play when defence? And as soon as she said that to me, I was like, that's going to be our band name. And um, yeah, that's sort of how we come together and we started writing and sending each other ideas. And it took a little while, I think it was like April 2018 when we first had our first song out. So um, yeah, just just like we did a lot of like pre-planning and writing and making sure we were prepared for like live shows and stuff like that uh, going into releasing so yeah. yeah. You play a great brand of uh, guitar pop or pop rock, um, who were the bands that influenced you in, in that direction? Yeah I think um, for me like a big influence uh, was the greats. Um, I absolutely love them and I love their song Burn Bridges, it's like one of my favourite ones ever. Um, so was, they were definitely a big influence on on this this project but also you know uh, Press Club, uh, they're a great Australian band, they've definitely been someone we've referenced and uh, just loved and, and gone to shows together and been really inspired by their stage presence and and the the way that they put together their songs it's it's very musically skilled um as well as just like a pleasure to listen to so um they're definitely two of our influences and um I think we, we loved Spider Bait and we often reference Calypso and we even chuck that into our live set every now and then. So that's, yeah, that's another one. Um, but yeah, that all sorts of things like, you know, even Avril Lavigne has been thrown into the mix of uh, inspiration and people to sort of draw, draw from. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, you've got an EP coming out next week called Friends. Uh, yeah. There's no actual track called Friends. Uh, no. Why did you title the EP Friends? Um, so we were trying to figure out what we were going to call this EP for a little bit and um, I think the main thing we've taken from this project is the friendship we've made and the connection we've made with even our other bandmates and stuff like that and it just feels like a bit of an ode to our friendship because all the songs on this EP were written during, you know, the starting 
point of this project and to where we are now. And it's just about the growth we've had and what we've been through together. And we just felt like it was really fitting to call this body of work friends because that's just exactly the best thing that's come out of, out of this project. Yeah. Um, yeah. Relocate is the current single. Uh, yeah. Was that written together, you and Sky, or um, with the band? Um, so I wrote this early 2018, and I sent it to Skiz, and we ended up working on it in the studio with uh, our good friend Benny, who also plays guitar for us. And, yeah, so I, I wrote that one, forwarded it on to them, and, yeah, they really liked it, and we worked on it from there. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit about, you know, relocating your anger and negative energy and um, trying to build that in a healthy way and, you know, also being on the receiving end of that anger can sometimes be uh, quite hard. So, yeah. Uh, the track Weapons is actually my favourite track on the EP. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit less punk than the other tracks, a little bit more polished maybe. Is that a direction yeah. that maybe you can see yourselves going in? Yeah, definitely. We've we've had that in our pocket for a while, so it was really great to be able to release it. Um, it's definitely a lot. It's probably the point of difference to the rest of the tracks on the the EP, and it's a bit more shoegazy and um, yeah, as you said, a bit more polished production wise. But yeah, Skiz and Benny and I all were all in the studio, and we wrote that one, and it, it's always been one we've loved um, to play live, and it goes down really well and I think it's just got that big end thing that kind of production value to it and it's just really fun. What do you know about uh, recording now that you didn't know the first time you stepped into a studio? I think um, the, that's a good question. Uh, I'd say like just taking your time like I, you think it's going to be this glamorous process when you know the whole I think there's like a bit of a skewed perception of the music industry a little bit like when you're growing up and you think it's all you know glitz and glam and, and just like a hell of a time and, it, and no doubt it is but there's definitely a lot of hard work that goes into it and I think yeah taking your time in the studio not being too hard on yourself you're not going to get the vocal take straight away um but yeah just just those little things and like not having like super high expectations um, to, to start off with, yeah. So. When did you know you were going to be a guitarist? What was the attraction? Um, well, I was actually a swimmer for years and that was my passion. But when I gave that up, I just kind of didn't know what to do with myself. Um, through the last couple of years of high school. So my brother had an old guitar that he just never touched. So I kind of stole it from him and taught myself just like YouTube tutorials. And then later I did a few lessons. And I think like, I don't see myself as an amazing guitarist, but I definitely know enough to be able to write and, and play live. And um, I think, yeah, that's probably, I don't know, I, haven't, I don't, don't really know when I was like, I'm going to be a guitarist, but it's just always something I definitely want to continue to do. Yeah. And what is your main guitar on stage? Um, so I've got a Fender Tele, which I usually play with, um, but I've just brought, I've actually got it right here, <laughs> and a brand new Strat, which okay. I'm absolutely loving, and I think I'm going to be using that on stage for Wind Defense from now on, because it's just got a really nice, crunchy sound. Um, but yeah, it's just, yeah, so they're my two, they're my two, so I've got a Tele and a Strat, but yeah, I think I'll be going to the Strat from now on. <laughs> and do you play through a Fender amp as well? Yeah, I've got a Fender Princeton Reverb, which, um, is beautiful with lamp. It just sounds lovely, um, and it's not too too loud, which is good, I think. <laughs> Do you have a favourite pedal? Um, I really like the Electro Harmonic Soul Food pedal. Um, it's not. It's not actually like an overdrive, but it but it works as one, and it's just really crunchy and it. I don't know, I think it just hits the pocket with with that, specifically for the wing defence stuff. So yeah, that's probably my favourite one. Yeah. 
do, do you play acoustic guitar as well? Yes, yeah, I do. I've got a um, Cole Clark FL3, um, which I, that was my first ever, you know, expensive guitar purchase, and I just loved it. I went into the music music store and played it, and I was like, oh, it's a little bit out of my price range, but I just, it was definitely my the pick for me, so I just paid it off eventually, and it was worth more than my guitar, uh, than my car, sorry, um, but it, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a lovely one to play. Uh, do, do you have a favourite music store there in Adelaide that uh, you go to for your strings and picks and things? Yeah, I often just go to Derringer's. Um, they're always super helpful there. Um, there's a couple little stores of them around Adelaide. Um, but yeah, it's just that's usually my go-to. and I'll often take a friend or someone with me to, <laughs> to um, shop and, you know, the solidarity of spending lots of money on musical equipment. <laughs> uh, you guys have recently been signed to a European label, uh, Doc7. How did that come about? Yeah, so that come about, um, they were discuss talking to our manager for a while and, um, yeah, the offer came through to sign us and it was a really artist-friendly deal, which is obviously very appealing um, and they seem to really love our stuff and weren't really keen to work with us so yeah it just sort of happened really naturally and um it's yeah it's been really great they've done a lot of good things for us over in europe so that's that's really exciting and um obviously very keen to get over there yeah uh, you've played in other bands is wing defense now the the main project for all of you um i have a, a solo project um myself um so that they're both probably just equally as important to me obviously with wing defense it's less pressure because i'm not singing um i'm just playing guitar and having heaps of fun whereas i think through my solo project i probably put a bit more pressure on myself um not to say i i care more about it it's just just different um but yeah so for sky though it definitely is and um for all our like guitarist, drummer and stuff, they're, they're in a bunch of other bands. But yeah, for, for me and Sky, it's yeah, very important and very prominent part of our music musical careers. So what are the revised plans now for uh, Wing Defence, the COVID-19 year plans? Yeah, um, so I think going into 2021, we'll hopefully be doing some touring we, i know um we really want to go and do hit, hit up some regional towns um uh, specifically in south australia just do I, I don't feel the regional route here gets enough live music so i know we're very passionate about that and that's something we want to do do a bit of a regional tour and um obviously hit up the the cities as well when when possible but um yeah, I think just touring is mainly our revised plan for, for next year and also just keep continuing to write and record and work on our next body of work. All right, Paige, it's been great to chat and uh, good luck with the EP. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and the dog too. The dog, yeah. <laughs>